Why do you have to be so complicated for? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now if you're a regular here, you'll know that I'm not good at knitting. Like that doesn't look very good, does it? I'm not good at sewing. Is that sewing? And I'm not good at crochet. Take the hook through the first ST and wrap the yarn around and bring through. What? However, I might potentially be good at looming. I don't think it's called looming. You buy a loom. Is it weaving? Steven. I'm not sure what the correct terminology is. I bought a loom kit and a bunch of different yarns and I'm going to try and create something on a loom I suppose. And this was actually recommended several times before by Uslot on various videos and I thought I would attempt it. <sighs> I'm a little bit skeptical. I feel like I can potentially do it. You're a liar, and this is why Derek don't like you. I don't know why. I don't know why I think I can do it for, but for some reason I felt like I could do it. So we'll open this little loom kit up and see if I can actually make anything with it. Okay, so it looks like I've bought mine from Rocky and Chow since 2013. So they know their shit. They know looms. I just bought it on Amazon. I can't remember which one I actually bought. It's arrived in a nice little bag though, hasn't it? Oh, just please don't be too complicated. I really hope you're not too complicated. Oh. Oh. At least I get a nice comb. Why do I, do I, why do I need a comb for? I think this is the instruction booklet. It's just a crumpled up bit of paper. Ah, oh, it just tells us how to assemble it. It doesn't tell us how to actually loom. I think this was an easy one as well. I think I bought like a beginner friendly one. So the first step is open the package bag and place all accessories on the table. Well, I've already done that and I didn't even have to try. Fix the cross beam with screws as shown in the picture. There's the cross beam. Ah, oh, this is the cross beam, but there's two of them. So that must go like that. No goes like that. So just attach this bit to this. By the way, if you've come to this video wanting to know how to loom and to learn the basic steps of looming or weaving or whatever you call it, you, you are on the wrong channel, I'll tell you that right now, because I can't imagine you're going to find any of this informative. But we'll see. It might be. It, 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 it might. It just, it might. It might. It's quite big, isn't it? <laughs> That's what she said. Insert the middle stick. Please be careful not to insert into the wrong hole. That's what she said. I'm so filthy, I'm dirty, I'm dirty. I have a real thing about sizable cock. I think I'll go for the front hole. The front hole sounds like the right hole, doesn't it? It also depends. Some people might like it on the back hole. I think I'm gonna squirt. I think as well, when someone suggested this loom kit thing, I think they also recommended that I try making a rug, rug tufting. But if you've ever looked online at rug tufting materials and machinery, it is so expensive. It is ridiculous. I really want to make one. I would love to make my own rug, but the like gun thing that you use, I think it's like a couple hundred quid for that alone, so... You've got no chance, sorry. Install the bottom stick and cross beam at the bottom according to the corresponding positions. Uh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Can't go in like that, there's no other hole. This thing hasn't got another two holes on that side. Oh, wait, it's on that side. <sighs> I've put it on the wrong way around. I'm gonna have to undo all of this. Okay, so now fit this. And then another cross beam. I feel like I should have really assembled this before I started recording the video, but I didn't think, did I? Fix the two foothold with screws. What have I bought? I can tell you right now, this is not a beginner friendly one. This is like a really complicated high end one. And I wasn't prepared today to assemble flat pack furniture. So not only am I doing that, I'm also gonna be attempting to loom. Okay, that's that done. Fix the loom with yarn. I've still got extra parts. What are these parts for then? I swear down, it's good. <laughs> It just, it's, it's stopped at that last one. At this point, it says just to secure these bits with yarn. What about these three parts? What are these for? Four parts. Right, well, it wants us to put some yarn on here for some reason. I don't know why. So I'm supposed to just secure around here with yarn. What is the point? It doesn't need any. The worrying part out of all of this is the fact that I've got extra parts and I've also got an extra bag of screws. And there's no other instructions either. I feel like they've just like left us hanging. I'm just gonna Google what I'm supposed to be doing because I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh, this is the one I bought. Okay. Right, mine looks like their picture. Good. Doesn't actually tell us like what, what I'm... <sighs> 
how to loom. <laughs> oh, there's a video. Go under the first yard, then over the next. Repeat this until you get to the end. Be sure not to miss a strand, and if you do miss one, go back and start over at that point. Did I have a shit stick? What's a shit stick? Don't worry about lifting the second shed stick too high. Just lift the second shed stick high enough to get the tissue or spacer. Why is she using tissue for? What? In this section you will use the- <sighs> This looks so confusing. You know what? I'm just going to try and guess. Honestly, it looks ridiculous. Why? Why did I- Why? What was the point? Why did I buy this for? I'm wondering, like, how do I set it up? How do I put the, like, yarn onto it? Oh, knitting loom. I don't think I'm knitting anything. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Do we think, based on my experience, that I can do this just by guessing? Like, uh, just kind of, like, playing around and then magic happens and... I've, I've loomed something. I'm just gonna have a play. Honestly, just gonna have a play. I'm gonna start with a pink yarn and I'm gonna load the loom. Even though I have absolutely no idea how to load a loom. I assume it goes like up and down. Oh, hang on, I'll just tie that in a knot. And I think the yarn's supposed to be very tight on the loom. And then we would go into this part. Aha! Oh, okay, this is easy. Easy peasy, I'm worried for no reason at all. Oh, I'm gonna be an expert before you know it. Because also, you have to think that looming or weaving or whatever, it won't have been around. Obviously, it's been around, like, for so long. It's, like, a very old craft thing. But someone, at some point in history, I don't know who the person was, will have invented this and will have made it so they would have done it not knowing how to originally do it because there weren't any instructions and they made it up. So, in theory, you should be able to just guess and be able to figure it out because that's what the original founder of a loom thing did. I'll get there, it's fine. This bit's very easy. It's just, well, it's slightly fiddly, but it's not too bad. I'm just going over and under these little, like, latch things Things to create basically a base that I assume I'm going to be creating something. I haven't decided what I'm going to be creating. Nothing. And like weaving it in between the yarn. The other video that I was watching, she was weaving tissue paper and I don't fully understand why. And I'm not going to be weaving tissue paper. I think I'm just, well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I said nothing. We'll, we'll figure that out once I've started. But I definitely feel like this is something you might potentially need help with, like assistance. You might need someone to tell you what to do. But we'll see. This video could be all about exploration and whether weaving can be self-taught, having absolutely no prior knowledge on what you're actually doing. But what bothers me is it would have been nice if the kit that I bought actually included some instructions on what you're supposed to do with it. Told me how to assemble it, but other than that, I have no idea. So that's that done. Chop that. Tie it off, I think. Okay, so we have like a nice tight kind of a bit a base on to to do some work with. So that's good. I like that. I love using this so much. Well, that's annoyed us. I was just looking online at some pictures to see, kind of try and get some inspiration on what to do. And there's clearly a kid who's just doing it perfectly fine. So I should be able to do it. I'm an adult. There's another child who's doing it. Oh my God, there's so many kids who can do this. See, it looks like some people put like bits of fabric and stuff inside. And I think that would be easier actually, because if I'm doing this all with yarn, it's going to take me like a million years because it's... We're just gonna take forever. Ah, oh, look at that. That looks well cool. See, I wanna do something like that. I don't know how. I'll get some yarn and we'll have a play. So say I'm using some blue yarn. Also, this video is gonna be quite hard to record because I didn't realize how big this thing was gonna be. I don't know, we'll tie it here. They use sticks and stuff to go through, but I don't know why. And I also don't know why I've got like just a random pole. And then I've also got the comb and I feel like the comb's important. Maybe that's for like brushing. I know how to weave. You obviously go in between each piece. I think it's easier to do it with your fingers. Oh my God, this is gonna take me years. It's gonna take me absolutely years to do anything. Yeah, if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm just going under and over between the pink yarn with the blue yarn. But then when I get to the end, I don't know what I'm supposed to do and I'm nearly at the end. Uh, I suppose you could easily build up pictures like this. The issue is though, it's just the amount of time. No wonder that other person was using tissue paper because it would be so much quicker. Right, I feel like I've done a whole row. Try my comb. Okay, I've done a blue line, but then what do I do? I think I've made a mistake buying this. Let me just have a look at some more pictures. Maybe the video. Let's have a look at the video. Uh, are you drinking my freak? No. 
Fast. Hello everyone, welcome back. Hi. In the previous video, we learned how to make a cardboard loom and dress it with warp. In this video, I will show you how to prep a loom for weaving and some basic weaving techniques. Before we start, let's review some weaving terminology. These yarns that run vertically on the loom are called the warp. That's the, the warp. The warp is secured at the top and bottom of the loom, and it's important that these yarns remain taut. Normally, this yarn is thin and sturdy because it must support the yarns that will be woven through it. The yarns woven through the warp to create a design are called the weft. The weft yarns vary in size. Okay, so this was called, what did she say it was called? <laughs> I can't remember already. But the other bit that goes across is called the weft. By the way, this video is from Fibers and Design Weaving, and it's called How to Weave, Weaving for Beginners, which is a video I should have really watched before I started this video. In order to weave the yarns, you can wrap them around a shuttle or a bobbin. There are various options, but I will show you how to make and use a paper shuttle. To make a paper shuttle, cut a thick piece of cardstock into a oh, 10 inch by- That's what this is for. You put your yarn on it to weave. On the shorter ends, cut out a triangle that is one and a half inches high. Then, repeat this on the other end. Problem is, the more they get into it, the more confusing it's starting to get. At first I was like, oh, this is this is looking all right, this is looking easy, and then, then you start to lose us. Right, hang on a second. I'm gonna weave my shed stick in between here, because I think that's important. And then I've got another one of these, which I attach the yarn to. I feel like I'm going blind looking at this. Okay, so I've got this little stick that goes up and down between my loom, and that does something, which I'm not sure what the point of it is, but it's it's there. It travels up and down, that's all we need to know. Now you can move the shed stick up and down through the warp yarns. Here you can see the over-under method applied from the right to the left side of the loom. This next part is optional, however, I always use spacers before weaving my design. You can prepare the spacer for weaving by folding it once horizontally and then again. Ah, oh, this is why that person was using tissue paper. Oh, it's called a spacer. Ah, oh, I tell you what, I feel like I think I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab some tissue paper. I'm gonna take all this out. This isn't this isn't right. I think it's actually gonna be quite easy. Yeah, get rid of this. This is this is stupid. I think I can do this. I actually think I can do this. Give us one second. I'm gonna get some bog roll and I'm gonna loom something. Okay, so I've got some loo roll. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually make anything. Well, I don't <sighs> I don't think I'm actually going to be able to make anything, but I'm going to be able to, well, I don't know, like, do something. So I've got this little bar here, and that kind of pulls the yarns apart, and I slide that all the way down, and then what I can do is just lift it up and shove my tissue paper in between. I still don't know why I'm doing this for. This is just what I was told to do. This person made it look far easier than it actually is. So this is called a spacer, and you put the tissue paper into the bottom to do something, well, to Create, create a space, I suppose. Oh, I can't be asked. Oh my god, I can't be bothered. <sighs> the thing is, when I was looking at that person doing it, she made it look like unbelievably easy, and it's it's not. It's not easy at all. This is so hard. I don't know why I thought it would be easier than this. I always think things are going to be easier, and they're just they're not. I've just got such a defeatist attitude when it comes to stuff like this. I honestly think knitting, believe it or not, shockingly enough, I think knitting, well, is it easier than this? I think they're all just equally as hard. Oh, wait, I'm, oh, I'm getting there now. It's all right. It's okay, I was close to having a meltdown, but I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like you suggested this on purpose because you knew I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, well, I got the bit of tissue paper all the way along. So it looks like that, and then you just mash it down into the bottom and that creates a chunk of bog roll at the bottom of your weaving. And then the way to weave yarn is you put this around here, kind of like a bobbin. I basically feel like weaving is a very complicated version of knitting. I can't believe people do this for like fun. I'm not having fun. I'm not enjoying myself at all. Okay, well, I've done that. And then I suppose I just, well, what do I do? How does that work? How does this yarn come off the stick? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm fed up. Hang on, let's try that. The problem is I feel like all the yarn's just gonna be attached to the stick. Oh, oh, wait. How did I do that? How did the yarn appear there? I don't even know how I did that. How did it come off the stick? And then I would do it again, but I would go, oh, hang on a second. Above, so over and under again, but obviously the opposite way. Bring that back down. So is the yarn just gonna magically come off the stick again? I have just weaved something and I don't know how I did it. I've literally done it. And then you use your little comb 
and just like brush it down. Now that's not right because it's just kind of, it's not attached to anything. It's just floating in amongst the pink. Oh, this is awful. Oh, I hate this so much. I can't, uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm, it's just, it's not happening. It's not fun and it's not enjoyable. It's really, really, really not an enjoyable process for me. I got that little tiny bit done and then, well, I just got lost with it. I couldn't, I just hate it. I absolutely hate it. It's honestly, it's worse than knitting. That's how I feel about this. It is worse than knitting. So that was, well, that's, this was this video of me attempting to weave on a loom kit thing. And I got, I got that far. And I, I honestly, I just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I've got a bit of bog roll attached between some yarn for some reason. We all knew this was never going to work. We all knew I was never going to be able to do this. All my regular people will do anyway. Anyone new to the channel won't have a clue what I'm on about and... Well, they'll just think I'm an absolute ass, but I don't really care. But at least I got a free comb, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, I'm gonna go. <laughs> just another one of them textile videos, isn't it? If you like this video for some strange reason, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Didn't like it one bit. If anyone does do weaving, let me know how you do it. Let me know if you actually do stuff with it. Like, do you make things? Well, I, I'm sure people weave hats and stuff on, on a kit like this. But I don't know how you turn that into a hat. I don't know how you turn that into anything, if I'm honest with you. Right, I'm, go I'm going. I'm going before, before I lose my mind, so. I'll see you next week for a brand new video.